Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you one of my favorite little features of Google Earth and an activity you can have your students complete using this little feature. Now, the feature is called I'm Feeling Lucky, and I'm using it here in the web version of Google Earth. I'm in the web browser, and there's this little button over here that just says, I'm Feeling Lucky. You just click on that, and that will take you to a random place in the world and your students can then stop the earth from spinning around and they can zoom in on it as they would like as in as much detail or as little detail as Google Earth will provide. They can grab the peg person over here and drag that onto the map and look at things in more detail. Now they can also exit out of that view and scroll back out. Now, if I click it again, it'll take me to another place in the world. In this case, I'm going to Oakland, California and the Museum of Art and Digital Entertainment. But I can click again and jump to another place. In this case, I'm jumping to a little island off the coast of Iceland. And I can stop it once again by just clicking on it. And we'll see over here we have this little knowledge card or knowledge tab where we can get more information about the place that we are looking at. Now, I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to click one more time here on I'm feeling lucky. And we're going to jump to this spot right here. And again, this is just total luck of what shows up when I click. And every time I click, I'm going to get sent to a different place in the world. And I can use all these little features over here, like tilting the view of the earth or using the street view imagery or using the knowledge card. Now, the way that I use this with students is I have them fill out this I'm feeling lucky question sheet. And every student's going to have different answers on here. And I do this as a way for students to learn about a new place in the world and kind of discover a new place in the world. And they write down what's the name of the new to you place and where is it, continent, country, state, and province, who lives there, why would someone want to visit or why would someone not want to visit? And a simple question of when is the coldest and warmest time of the year in that location. And so every student is going to have a different answer because they're going to go to a different place. And this is a good way for students to discover new places in the world and also learn how to use some of the features within Google Earth, like those options here for using the peg person to look at different imagery of locations around the world, and of course, to do a little research on the places themselves. And so we're seeing right here, I've just dragged the peg person in so we can look around this photosphere. So that's a little activity that you can do using the I'm feeling lucky button in Google Earth. For more about Google Earth and Google Maps and using them in your classroom, please click the link in the description down below or subscribe to my YouTube channel.